Yeah, I'm not gonna tell you again, B. You heard? Thousand subscribers. We get a thousand subscribers. Give away. Either we give away sneakers or we give away, um, what you call that? Ninero, money, mola, guap, paper, cheese, bread, ham. Damn, I just made myself hungry. Are you ready? Hey, you think you can tell us what to do? You think you can tell us what to wear? You think that you're better? I think these shits. Got through this in the washing machine, and they came back out. Weird. It is clean. It does smell good now. She had like freaking 200 pounds of sweat. It's okay. But I think these go perfect with these. Damn, I just realized that shit right now. Yo, YouTube. Just came back from a little mini vacation we had. I stood two days in Jersey. Um, it was around the, the outlets. There's a whole bunch of outlets all together, like all top big brands like Nike Outlet, Adidas, North Face, Versace, Gucci, Michael Kor. Um, yeah, a lot. It just for everything. Um, so we went to the Nike Outlet, and I got these half Air Force, half foam posits. Size 12, $120. I think retail price is probably like $250, $300, something like that. Got it for $120. Can I take this off? I think I can. Probably leave it on. I think I should have thrown it with it. Just don't want it to reach the floor. Yeah, so we decided to stay over there for like two days. Um, It was, I don't know. It was crazy, it was fun, but stressing too. Like, it was like the middle of nowhere. No city life, no sidewalks. There's no, you can't walk. Everything around you is just highways. Middle of nowhere, nothing but mountains and trees. It was just weird. Like, it was like saying, <clears throat> this is the hotel. They have to drive for like 10 minutes to go to the Nike outlet. And then you have to drive another 10 minutes just to go to Walmart, BJ's. It was just like no sidewalk. Like you couldn't walk or nothing. It was just it was just bad. They had to wait an hour for the train. Just to get off the next stop. It was like a five minute ride. Just to wait another hour and a half for the next train. And then it was like maybe 30 to 40 stops. That's an hour and a half ride. And then they leave us in the middle of nowhere. You can't walk. There's nothing but highways all around you. We had a call to Uber. It took us, it took 30 to 40 minutes because really that area doesn't really have Ubers like that. Maybe one car if you're lucky. And then <clears throat> To go to the Nike outlets and stuff like that, other outlets for other top brands. The hotel has like a, a shuttle, a free shuttle van. Um, we had to take that just to go to the outlets. And then if you want to go to Walmart and BJ's and other stuff like that, there's like down the road, maybe five, ten minute ride. You had to take the shuttle or Uber. You cannot walk, even though it's like right there five minute walk less than five minutes is almost across the street you cannot walk because there's nothing but highways there's no sidewalk you couldn't do nothing so you had to call the hotel for they could send a shuttle bus to the nike outlet pick you up take you to the hotel or take you to walmart or bj's other stores like that it was just bad it was fun it was good it just Automatically, you need a car. You need a car. So, stood it for two days. And I believe this is the only thing I got. I got something from Walmart. Basically, <clears throat> the wife, 
I just went with her because I like going with people when they shop. I just went with her. She bought a whole bunch of stuff, like Michael Kors purses and Gucci and Adidas, Nike outfits, sneakers. She got it for the kids too, sweaters, Nike sweaters, North Face sweaters, t-shirts. They even had a Disney store, so they got pajamas there. Um, what else? When, ah, what else? Yeah, that's it, I guess. I think we went to Tiffany. There's a jewelry shop, Tiffany something, Tiffany Cole or some shit like that. I don't know. Um, I was gonna buy a Rolex. <clears throat> it was just like this one, but completely all gold. I think it was a presidential Rolex. A date. It was a date just. And I was gonna buy it because the lady told me two thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars. So, once I went to pay it, pull out the credit card, it was $29,500 and something dollars. So, the dreams went out the window quick. Then it was cold as hell. Oh, my God. Meanwhile, spring starts today or tomorrow. And then this weekend coming is going to be in the 60s. We just went this weekend, last weekend, and the temperature was in the 40s. So we can, it was just bad. It was just too much walking. I don't mind walking, I love walking. That's my thing, but it was just, those two days, I don't know. It was just bad. There was stores everywhere. It was in and out the stores. It was windy. I hate the wind. I hate the cold. I really didn't. <clears throat> Enjoy it like I really wanted to enjoy it. So, are we planning to go back? Uh, no. Maybe. But for me, it's a no. Maybe. I don't know. It's just, the only thing that bothers me is you can't walk. I love walking. Can't walk to the mall. Can't walk to Walmart. Can't walk to the stores. There's no grocery stores. There's only one supermarket, and that's in BJ's. Can't walk over there. Even though it's like a 10-minute walk, 5-minute ride. But it's just not the highways all around. And basically, this Nike outlet, that was a big Nike outlet. There was more, they had a lot of sneakers for sure. They had thousands of sneakers, but it was not a like a Nike outlet like YouTubers be posting like when they be going to Nike outlets they be finding Jordans they be finding phone posits they be finding um what do you call that SD sneakers some be finding freaking what you call that the Concours Jordan 11s they be finding some crazy shit sneakers that be coming out last week two weeks ago a month ago they be in a, a Nike outlet. Cause Nike outlet didn't have nothing but like Air Forces I never seen in my life. A lot of Hirachis and regular Nike sneakers, like Nike sneakers that look like Adidas sneakers. Uh, but they did have a lot of sweaters. Oh, I did bought me something. Bought myself a North Face. I forgot. Where is it? I wonder if this Nike outfit goes with it. I bought myself a North Face. Don't mind the mess, I don't care. That's normal. Kiss my ass. Bought myself a vest. That's what I bought myself. I had to buy my son a North Face jacket too. Because we went over there with sweaters only. Because when we looked at the temperature, it was going to be like 55, almost 60. And 55 to 60, you could wear a sweater. For some reason, that same day, the temperature changed. They switched up on us, and they decided to be 40 to 45, and it was windy as hell. It was just bad. At the same time, it was good, but it was just bad. We was not expecting that. Expecting for everything to have to be... You had to take a car just to go anywhere. 
So I got this for like $60. Retail price is maybe like, I don't know, $120, $130, $160. I really don't know. I don't know. I bought myself a vest because I needed a vest. So I got this over there by the outlet. And I got this for a good time. Um, I did put myself some stuff in Walmart. Um, what else? Yeah, that's it. That's all I got. Oh, yeah. Let me show you something. Probably make a separate video and show you the rest of the sinkers. Yeah, I use this for just sinkers and stuff. So, yo, remember to subscribe. Once we reach a thousand subscribers, we'll start doing a sinker giveaway or money giveaway. And I'm out.